the next Street Smarts. It pays to watch more TV. On the TV show Magnum P.I., what does the P.I. stand for? Pretty intelligent. To watch your step and to watch your language. If I'm at a French restaurant, which restroom should I use? The one marked Femme or Homme? I bet you'd use the female one. <laughs> I bet you I <laughs> This guy is funny. Yeah, you see he's running though, folks. Street Smarts. Think you've got him? Find out now. And so am I, your host, Frank Nicotero. I'm sure you're funny and sexy too, but are you smart? That's what I like to test in city after city across America. And the results, well, you'll see for yourself. First, let's meet our in-studio contestants who have the unenviable task of figuring out which of our three street scholars made the grade and which ones missed the mark. So let's say hello to Danielle. Hello, Danielle. <laughs> Uh, with no cash, but on the other hand, I'm an optimist, so I want to remind that one of you will leave with a whole lot of money, okay? All right, let's take a look at our three students in the streets. First up, Roxanne shares her very unique choices for smartest person in the world. So, Roxanne, do you, do you truly love New York? I went shopping over there, and I've, like, so many guys are like, I love you over here. I'm not wearing this shirt in public ever again. <laughs> Who's the smartest person in the world to you? That would be Frankenstein. Frankenstein? <laughs> Right. He's known him. He has such an elaborate vocabulary. He has <laughs> and fire. I was meaning to say Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Well, a lot of people get him confused. Albert Einstein. Frankenstein. Right, a man yeah. made out of dead humans. Right, yeah. Oh my God. I love New York. Next, yes, Reggie, a semi-pro wrestler from California, gives me some tips on getting, getting me to my fighting weight. Now, Reggie, you want to give a little shout out to your two uh, kids? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my daughter, Ariana and Maya. Hi, baby girls. Reggie, what do you do? I'm a semi-pro wrestler. You're a semi-pro wrestler, so what does that mean? What can you do? Well, right now I'm just training to try to make it to the WWF. Yeah, you're pretty big. Now, could I train to be a semi-professional wrestler? You, you need to get some more height and... Dude, I'm all lean muscle. That's all this is. Oh, no, you're short. <laughs> Turn me around there. And finally, the very, very energetic Katie reenacts a scarring childhood moment for us. Now, Katie... <laughs> tell me what you want to tell me. Well, tell me, what, what do you do for a good time? You go hang around with my friends, and we go play basketball. Then I told me that we come sit down and we watch Street Smart. <laughs> Tell me about the time you fell down a hill. Oh, shoot. OK, it's high school. Come okay. on, you know you got to be cool in high school. I was running cross country. OK. And all the fine football players were there. All of them, all of them. There's this big old hill of dirt, OK? And I was running all cool up the hill. And I'm like, can we walk? I fell. <laughs> I love her. These are a good bunch up here. Now that we know them, let's see what they know. Our first round is called, Who Knew It? Yeah. I asked these three individuals the same questions. What we're looking for here is the correct answer. Lock in your choice. The right one gets you 100 smackers. Oh, and wow. OK, guys. Here's the first question I asked to Roxanne, Reggie, and Katie. I asked all three, on the TV show Magnum P.I., what does the P.I. stand for? So who knew it, guys? What do you think? Do you think it was Roxanne, Reggie, or Katie? You can tell me what the P.I. means. And you guys are locked in very quickly, very nice. And you guys agree. You both think it's Roxanne. Howard, why do you think Roxanne knows it? Yeah, Ro Roxanne looks like she watched a TV show. Do you agree, times. Danielle? Well, yeah, because Tom Selleck is a sex symbol, so I think she oh, yeah, probably can. knows. Okay, let's yeah. check it out, see if we can get you both 100 bucks. On the TV show Magnum P.I., right. what did the P.I. stand for? Private investigator. It was, Magnum P.I. Do you remember watching that show? No. I think I'm too young. You're too young for Magnum P.I. <laughs> okay. right. yeah. That's a right yeah. answer. Way to go, guys. Roxanne, you both have 100 bucks. Nice job, guys. And just for fun, we're going to go ahead and show Katie's clip. Check this out. On the TV show Magnum P.I., what does the P.I. stand for? Pretty intelligent. Pretty intelligent. <laughs> Magnum P.I. It should be Katie P.I. <laughs> All right. We love Katie. All right, guys, here's the next one that I, sh uh, I showed Roxanne, Reggie, and Katie this word. And I asked them, can you pronounce this name? So what do you think, guys? Who do you think knew that one? Do you think it was Roxanne, Reggie, or Katie could pronounce that word correctly, that name correctly? All right, looks like we're both locked in. Hmm, once again, you guys are locked in with the same person. You both think Katie knows. Is there cheating going on? Danielle, you think Katie will get this? Yes. All right, and Howard? Yeah, she's a little crazy, but I think she can get it. OK, let's see if we can get you guys another 100 bucks. Can you pronounce this name? Yeah. I got to sign it right. Well, let, let me see it. Liberace. Oh, isn't that the one guy that, ah, the same person? 
<laughs> he's, he's actually passed away. He, well, yeah, well, he's he, very flamboyant. Flamboyant? Yeah. I've heard of that word, flamboyant. Yeah. I feel cool saying that word, flamboyant. He was like, hey, I wish my brother George was here. Ah, too bad, but he's not. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Katie got it right. You guys are both two for two. You got 200 bucks each. Nice job. Uh, just for fun, I want to see what Reggie had to say on that one. Can you pronounce this name? Librace? Oh, you know who this was? Liberace. Actually, he actually wrestled. He could probably take you if you wrestled. Liberace will get bombed on. That's really. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Reggie. OK, guys, we're smoking along here. Here's the third question in the round. I asked all three. If you're born into royalty, you're said to have what color blood? So who can pull through for you on this one, guys? What do you think? You think it was Roxanne, Reggie, or Katie? You guys are so good at locking in. Well, we have another. Oh, you guys finally have a difference here. We have a Katie and we have a Roxanne. Now, uh, Danielle, you think Katie can make it three yeah, for three for Yeah, she looks her, like huh? she has a little bit of college education. I think okay. she could. All right, yeah. let's check it out. See if you can get 300 bucks total. If you were born into royalty, oh, you're man. said to have what colored blood? Red. That's a wrong Whoa. answer. I'm sorry, Danielle, that is not Whoa. correct. Now, Howard, you think Roxanne can come through, yeah, huh? Yeah, Roxanne's pretty intelligent. She should okay. get this. All right, let's find out. If you're born into royalty, right. you're said to have what color blood? Red. Red blood? It's blue gold. blood. It's blue. Red and gold. It's not red and gold. Blue. Blue blood. Oh, OK, now I know that oh, one. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Howard. Oh, Roxanne, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Howard Correct answer. It is blue blood. Is the correct answer. All right. Let's recap the scores here. Well, Danielle, you have 200 bucks. Not bad. And Howard's there with you. 200 bucks. Stay seated on your thrones because we're jacking up the cash to 200 bucks per question on Street Fighter. What state's license plate features the motto "Famous Potatoes"? Idaho. It is Idaho. Is it? Yeah. Oh my God. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. Now we have Danielle. You're an event promoter from San Diego, California. Huge James Brown fan. You Huge. see him in the airport. Tell me the story. I was so nervous. I wanted to meet him. I go up to him and I got sick all over his shoes. You, but who cares you about threw James Brown? Oh. Yes. yes. That's yes. why he dances like this. He's getting. That's why. Oh, see. I got full work. Yeah, I know Howard. You're a big, uh, big movie fan. You work in a movie theater. Yeah, I work and in a movie theater. I'm a chief of staff, and people ask me dumb questions all the time. <laughs> they'll be standing right under the restroom sign, and they'll come up to me and ask me where the restrooms are. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel, I feel your pain. I know exactly yeah. what you're doing there. All right, guys, you guys are doing great. We're glad you're both here. Recap of the scores. Howard, uh, you got 200 bucks. Danielle's got 200 bucks. The winds of change are here, and they bring us round two. Who blew it? Yeah. Classic superstars at a time. I asked them the same questions, and let's just say they agreed to disagree on the answers. Predict who was wrong, and you'll clean up with 200 bucks. Predict which question will stump your opponent, and clean up another 200 bucks. Huh? What's that I'm talking about? I'll tell you. Well, when you hear a question you think will baffle your opponent, hit that buzzer and dunce them, ladies and gentlemen. If they fail to answer correctly, you get an extra 200 dollars. If they get it right, they get the 200 bucks. So be careful, and don't forget the dunce cap is only available once in this round. So dunce wisely. All right, guys. Here's the first question I asked to both Roxanne and Reggie. I showed them this photo right there, and I said, who is this? So who blew it, guys? What do you think? Oh, oh my god. There was a dunce. Danielle's been dunced by Howard. So Danielle, you have five seconds to tell me who is this. I just know she was married to the guy from Two Nirvana. Seconds. I don't know. Nirvana. I'm sorry. Howard gets the money. Way to go, Howard. Gives you 40 bucks. No, 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 no. You leave that cap on, Missy. No, put it back on. You have to wear it for a couple seconds. OK, guys, so who do you think blew it? Who do you think didn't know who that was, Roxanne or Reggie? That knew who that mystery woman to Danielle was. All right, and you guys are locking in. OK. <laughs> Keep the hat on. OK, you're both locked in. All right, you both think Reggie blew it. Let's see if he did, 200 bucks each. Who is this? She looks like Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton? Yeah, on steroids. You both had Courtney, way to go. You both had Reggie. $200 more, you get that 200 back, Danielle, you have 400. Howard's up 600. Roxanne got it correct, it's Courtney Love. All right, here's the next question I asked uh, Reggie and Katie. I asked both of them, currently, how many stars are on the American flag? I have a big problem with this question, folks. I'll explain in a minute. So who do you guys think blew it? Do you think it's Reggie or Katie? You're both thinking Reggie blew it. Howard, he doesn't know this one? No, I don't think he can count that high. Oh, damn. He's a wrestler, watch out. Let's check it out. Currently, how many stars are on the American flag? I know this one, 50. It is 50. Yeah. One star represents. Uh, 
different planet. Well, why are there fit? No. no. <laughs> why are there 50 stars on the flag? Why are there 50 stars? Because we have 50 countries in the world. That's why. <laughs> he got it right. You both thought Reggie would blow it. Howard, you made that comment. He can count to 50. He knew there were 50 states. America, there's 50 states. Remember that. All right. For a wrong answer, I'm going to show you what Katie said. <laughs> Currently, how many stars are on the American flag? 35. 35, and each one represents? Each state. 35 states. Yeah, okay. that's what I said. That was the wrong answer. All right, we got one more question in the round, guys. That went to Roxanne, and it went to Katie. I asked both lovely ladies, for what sport is Jennifer Capriati best known? So which one blew it, Roxanne or Katie? We got a good game here, guys. Let me know who you think blew it. And you're both locked in. You both think Katie. Danielle, Katie doesn't know? No. No way? No, nope, no way. OK, let's check it out. See if she did for 200 bucks for each of you. For what sport is Jennifer Capriati best known? Jennifer Capriati. Um, <laughs> swimming? Swimming? No, she plays tennis. Oh. You don't I'm watch not... tennis on TV? No. You don't hang out at the country club playing tennis? No. I like soccer, baseball, football, basketball. Everything else but tennis. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry, Jennifer. Um, what? Capriati. Sorry, Capriati. <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, guys. You both had Katie. There's 200 bucks for each of you. The right answer is tennis. Reviewing the scores here. Let's see. 600 bucks for Danielle. 800 for Howard. We are flying. Stick around. The dollar values are still growing. And I'll be spanking myself with a riding crop on street parks. Trust me, I will. Welcome back, as promised, I was doing, <laughs> that thing hurts, trust me. A little, so I'm gonna set my thing down. Okay, put down your racing form and tip sheets because it's time to pick your pony. Danielle and Howard will choose one pony to ride this round. That means they're gonna predict how one person answered the next three questions. If your filly or stallion does what you predict, you get $300, oh, and don't wow. forget, <laughs> pull out that dunce cap to get an extra 300 big ones, but only do it once, try it twice, and you get spanked with that, all right? One dunce. Danielle, you're trailing by a nose, a long nose, but a nose, thus you get first dibs. So who you wanna ride into the home stretch? I'm gonna ride Reggie. Big Reggie, all right. Howard, how about you, my man? I think I'm gonna saddle, saddle up with Katie. You're gonna go with Katie, all right, good choices, guys. All right, Danielle, here's the first question I asked to Reggie. If I'm in a French restaurant, which restroom should I use? The one marked Femme or Ohm? What do you think? You think you got it right or wrong? Lock in 300 bucks a line, you'll take the lead. You think you got it wrong? wrong? If he gets it wrong, it's 300 bucks for you. Let's check it out. If I'm in a French restaurant, which restroom should I use? The one marked Femme or Ohm? Ohm, I would have to say Ohm because Femme sounds kind of like... Yeah. Kind of like gay. Yeah, Ohm is the guy, Femme is the female. Yeah. I bet you'd use the female one. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> well, this guy is funny. Yeah, you see he's running though, folks. I'm sorry you got that right, Danielle. He knew the answer. Sorry, you don't get the 300 bucks there, so it's up to Howard now. He gets, to, he gets a chance to uh, answer a question from the lovely Katie. Now, I asked Katie, what fruit is dried to make a prune? Do you think she got that right or wrong, Howard? You got, uh, got 800 bucks right now. You can add to your lead. What do you think? She's crazy, but I think she got it right. You think she got it right? All right, let's see if you can extend your lead. Crowd doesn't think so. What fruit is dried to make a prune? Plum. A plum? A plum. Do you like prunes? It's like, like old person, you know? Sorry. Way to go, Howard. Don't listen to that crowd. It's your game. You're for 1100. Way to go. All right, so it's uh, Howard, you got 1100. Danielle, you got 600 bucks. Here's your next question to Reggie. See if you can pull a little closer. On her album, what nickname does Jennifer Lopez go by? What do you think? Do you think uh, Reggie knew that one, right or wrong? Yeah, I think he knows it. Why is that? You think he'll know it? Uh, yeah, because he seems hip. Right, he's yeah, down. He's down. All right, let's check it out. Yeah. On her album, what nickname does Jennifer Lopez go by? Jennifer Lopez go by J-Lo. J-Lo, there you go. J-Lo. You like J-Lo? Yeah, I think she's hot, man. You would? You would like to wrestle with her? Oh, man. Any time of the week, I would love it. Now, what about your wife, though? What is she going to think if you wrestle with you? I think my wife would kill me. Okay. He got it right. Way to go, Danielle. Good strategy there. He knows J-Lo. He's down. 900 bucks for you now, Danielle. Next question for you, Howard. Uh, I asked Katie, more than two-thirds of the human body consists of what substance? Oh, you've been done, Howard. Danielle, throw the cap up there. All right. Howard, if you get it right, the money's yours. If you get it wrong, it goes Danielle. I'm going to read it again. You have five seconds to answer it. More than two thirds of the human body consists of what substance? Water. Correct answer. Yeah. Throw that cap on Danielle. What do you think? You're up to 400. All right, Howard. Do you think Katie got that right or wrong? No, I don't think she knows. I think she got it wrong. Okay, you think she got it wrong? 300 bucks if she did. Let's watch. More than two thirds of the human body consists of what substance? Water. That's right. 
Your oh body's my made. Oh God, that's just. That's right. Bling bling. She got it right. I'm sorry, Howard. She oh, knew the correct right. answer. Can't give you the 300 bucks, but you got 300 off the uh, off the dunce block. All right, Danielle. Last question for you for this round of Reggie. If a racehorse places, in what position did he finish? If a racehorse places, in what position position did he finish? What do you think? Think he got it right wrong? No way. You don't think so? No. All right. Let's see no. if we can get you 300 bucks, Danielle. If a racehorse places, in what position did he finish? I'll have to say first. You finish in first? Really? Now, first. when you wrestle, what position are you going to finish in? There is no position. You just pin the guy. Win or lose? Win or lose. So right now, if you had to put a move on me, what would you do? Uh, I'll have to put you in a sleeper hole. Say good night. Say good night. Say good night. <laughs> <laughs> he got it wrong. Way to go, Danielle. There's three of us for you. The correct answer is he finished in second place. Placing in second. Win, place, or show. OK. Uh, Howard, last question of the round to Katie. I asked her, what is the term for burning a corpse to ash? What do you think? Think Katie got that right or wrong, Howard? This is the last uh, one before the wager of death. Nah, I don't think she got it. You think she got it wrong? wrong. Let's find out. See if we can get you 300 bucks. What is the term for burning a corpse to ash? Burning a fire. Cremation. Cremation. You know, you put, oh, not for dead people, though. Yeah, you cremate dead people. Yeah, yeah. but we're not talking about dead people. Corpse. A corpse means dead person. I didn't know that. I learned something from you. Corpse. I learned something dead people. Yeah, she got it wrong. Way to go, Howard. That's good for you. Cremation is the correct answer. All right, recap on our scores. Danielle's got $1,200. Howard's got $1,700. He's on fire. When we return, Danielle and Howard will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Roxanne, Reggie, and Katie. I asked them to point to your jowls. Stay right there. It's do or die. It's the wager of death. Stick around. Good luck. Welcome back. Danielle and Howard, here's the scoop. Now, while I was taking a, a nap during the break, each of you went into stealth mode and chose one of our street scholars. You wagered a part, if not all, of your current totals on how you think they'd answer the final question. Recap of the scores, we got 1,200 for Danielle, 1,700 for Howard. A lot of money in this round. Now remember, it's all or nothing here. The winner leaves with the money, and the loser leaves with a gentle pat on the back, or I'll break out the whip, whatever you prefer. And here's a question I asked to Roxanne, Reggie, and Katie. I asked them to point to your jowls. Okay, let's get your choices. Danielle, you're trying by 500 bucks right now, so whose clip do you want to see to try to take the lead? Katie. You're going to go cute little Katie. Very yeah. good. Howard, get a $500 lead. Whose clip do you want to see? Uh, I also want to see Katie's. Final clip for you. Oh, you both want to see Katie. All right. Well, nobody chose Roxanne or Reggie. We're going to say bye to them. That means everything here on Street Smarts comes down to the last clip, and it's Katie's. Let's see how she answers the question. Point to your jowls. My jowls. That sounds like something that has to do with the jowls. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Right? Yeah. 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 All right, that's a right answer. She pointed to her jowls. That is correct. Right here's your jowls. Now, Howard, you went with Katie. You were in the lead there, $1,700. She got it right. What did you say? I said she'd get it You wrong. said she would get it wrong. Oh, no. Howard, how much of your $1,700 did you wager in that wager, wager death round? 50. You wagered $1,500. All right, you're not out of this yet. Now, Danielle, you also went with Katie. We saw her answer the question right. What did you say she would do? I said she'd get it wrong. You said wrong. All right, now, Katie, if you wager less than 1000 bucks, you win the game. How much did you wager of your money? Of your, oh, you wagered 1000 That means you have 200 We have a tie. Oh, my god, folks. Very exciting on Street Smarts. Everything is now riding on this tiebreaker question, and this is how it works. I'm going to ask one question. The first person to buzz in gets a chance to answer it or force their opponent to answer it. If you buzz in before I finish reading the question, you have to answer based on what you've heard. However, if you pass on it, your opponent gets to hear the entire question before answering. OK? You guys got that? A right answer is the winner. A wrong answer is the loser. Here's the tiebreaker question, guys. Hands near the buzzers if you want. OK? How many members are in the pop music quintet, the Backstreet Boys? All right, Danielle, it's to you. Do you want to answer it or pass it? I want it? to answer it. Go ahead, answer it. Five. Correct answer, Danielle, has won 200 bucks. Remember, folks, there's five Backstreet Boys. Huey, JC, AJ, I don't know. That's what we learned today on Street Smarts, and there's only 50 states. Bye, America. See you next time. Point to your jowls. Point to my jowls. Hmm. I would have to say somewhere up in here. Right around there? Yeah. Roxanne, point to your jowls. Looks like you're thinking about something. 